I have something really awesome for you. This is really quick and it's all about the core. Alicia here with this week's Stress Monkey Method workout. All right, we've all heard how important the core is. I mean, it's your powerhouse. So I've never understood why people throw it in at the end of their workout like it's an afterthought. My tip, do your core work at the beginning of your workout or interspersed throughout your workout. That way you have the energy to give it a really good go. And then you're gonna get results. All right, so what I have for you today, a four exercise circuit, and it's all about the core. So you can either do this on its own and just repeat this a few times or throw it into your already existing workout. All right, let's get started. So we're gonna start down on the ground on all fours, okay? Then I'm gonna simply Press back into what's known as a down dog. I'm gonna go down onto my elbows and this is my starting position. From here, without moving my feet, I'm gonna rock forward, which is gonna bring me way out here. And then I'm gonna go nice and slow right back to start. So nice and slow with this, guys. All right, that's two. And I'm trying to bring my body as close as I can to the ground without doing that to my back. Okay, keep that booty up. Good job. P.S. Don't hold your breath. Just a couple more. Good. One more just because it feels so good. Good job. All right, right away, I'm going to go into a side plank. Now, I think it's a better idea to stagger your feet instead of stacking them. So I have one foot in front of the other. I'm going to reach up, reach under. So when I reach under, it's like you're trying to reach something behind you, okay? Again, try not to let those hips sag. And I'm keeping my shoulder nice and far from my ear. Feel free to do more of these. We're gonna only do one more. I'm just trying to make this a pretty quick video here. So other side, I'm getting into my side plank, my arms up, and I'm reaching and reaching. Behind me, straight up. So you should be feeling this in the side of your belly. No more muffin top for us. You got this. One more, you're looking awesome. Good job. All right, we're gonna do two exercises on our back. So I'm gonna lie down on my back. I'm gonna bring my knees up. My arms go straight out and my head and shoulders come off the ground. So I'm gonna pull my knees towards my chest so I bring my booty up a little bit. And then my arms and legs go straight out but don't touch the ground. So I'm going extend and then roll up in a ball. Whee! Good job. Your lower back should be maintain contact with the ground at all times. That's how you can protect your lower back. Try to focus on relaxing that head and neck. Remember, if you feel a burning sensation, what are you supposed to do? That's right, you keep going because that means it's working. Give me just one more. Nice. Okay, we're gonna grab onto our knees or our thighs and rock it up. So, I'm sitting in a V. My body looks like a V, right? My heels are lightly on the ground, arms are overhead. I'm just gonna do gentle twists. Twist. Good. This is a good one for the obliques and for that lower belly that's so hard to get rid of. Pulling the belly button in towards the spine. Come on, challenge yourself. Two more each side. Last one. <sighs> nice. Wow. Do you feel so good? I mean, I feel like I already have six pack abs. All right, so you could do that a few times. Go to it, remember how important your core is. So, hey, you could even do this watching TV if you wanted to. So try that through, throughout the week, either within your workout or just as a little extra fun thing to do. <laughs> okay, I will see you next time. And until then, be active, eat really clean and feel good and be happy. See ya.